Bidgley, known as Pretty Boy, with eight wins, no draws and five defeats, also known as the Bradford Brawler. Exactly what Rob you mean, though, because you could hear the crowd. He's brought a, he's brought a following, Scott Midgley, and you see the guy's hat, the, the baseball cap. Yeah. If our people, if the cameraman can pick up, there he is, pick up the hat. Well, the, the pants were like that. And he's got his pants. Has he even got his pants on? <laughs> they were desperate. Is it an outfit that? I'm must telling be a you. Outfit, the pants. Absolutely. The well, pants Jim Freeman the did the weigh-in, and I've already awarded Scott Midgley the worst pants of the weigh-in. They were desperate. His pants. Batman, Spider-Man. <laughs> Here we go. We're on the money. Three, two, three rounds. Give it away. Midgley's from Bradford, sorry. Yes. Near Wales. And Burgers, Luca. Oh, Midgley means business. But Luca comes straight back at him. Oh, good Ooh. shot from Midgley. Oh, oh great shot. shot. Put him down for a count. Three shots with going with bad intent, and they all landed with bad intent. He meant that. Yeah, he meant exactly that, you know, 
They threw three heavy punches there, all three landed. You know, uh, Lucas gone down there, and you can't blame him, three heavy shots that he took. They touch hands, back comes to Mitchell. It's a big Capit gap, I tell you what, it's a big target, you know, he's, he's got to learn a bit of defence. Straight, oh, he's caught him again. He's caught him again. I've got a feeling this might not go the distance. Oh, oh good he's body shot. Good, up, yeah. good. good right hand to the body there. Uh, Luca, it's up against Luka the ear. Thrown in desperation there, to be fair. Lee through with the jab, tries the right, doesn't connect. Immediately comes back looking, immediately faints, then tries oh. to come under again, and good he's right caught him under oh, again. Good right uppercut. Both landed, one to the body, one to the head. Oh, and he's caught him again, and he's and in trouble. And you can see Lucas Berger. opened up a cut there over the eye. Where Luca in trouble already on the defensive? Yeah. Oh. oh, he's back up back, though. Oh, well, well he's done, Lucas back. Berger. He's coming back. Well done. Great, great energy. What a, what what a, a shot. Yeah. Plucked out of the depth from nowhere. Although he didn't score because the defence was really good. Yeah, but, it, but he's you know, bleeding profusely from the uh, yeah, it looks like cut. Bad cut above the, I think it's in the eyebrow. And that's the worst place to yeah. And there's another, you know, mentally he looks strong. You know, he looks like he's hitting hard, he's catching hard, he looks fit. You know, when he's, uh, like I can see. When the blood runs into your eye, you're in trouble. And the referee, well, the cornerman will have a little look at that, I think. Hopefully they can patch that up a bit. Great first round from Midgley. Oh, uh, but super. you know, fair play to Luke and he come back. Had a little taking. flurry, but he threw a lot of punches, never but the defence never scored a point. Exactly. This. Come back, you two, like this. What a. What a. <laughs> what a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I We're just looking at each corner to see how they're faring, the boxers. What a great round, obviously, not what a great round, but what a comeback there. But we're saying he threw a lot of punches, but what great defence, because they weren't scoring. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a lot of it was just in the hands. That kind of stuff. But what, a, what an aggressive start for Pittsburgh. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Those three punches he's caught in all three plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts great everything point. into every punch. Already the build, Jim, is shaping up to probably be one of your best. Hopefully, that's always the idea, isn't it? Beat the last one. Better, better, better and better each time. Hopefully, yeah. That's Jim the Governor. Here we go for round two. And again, Midgley goes looking. Straight oh, and Luke, yeah, Luke, Luke is coming back. Oh, oh good, good shot again over the top. And you can see she just wants to get stuck in, does Midgley. He don't want to stop, does he? he does to, to be fair, though. He wants an open fight and he wants to get in close and hold because he, he's getting hit. Mm. He's patted him on the head, that's, not, that's an yeah, illegal blow. There from, uh, from the referee. Noah Burton, the referee. He's hit him on the back of the head. The referee's got to have a word. You, it's back of the head, you cannot hit there. First rule, though, you'd know, Robbie, never turn your back. Exactly, never near you. you can, I mean, at the end of the day, you know. All Luke is doing is throwing punches. If they're landing on the back of the head, that's the only... He's not purposely trying to land on the back of the head. That's the only time that he's got. He's got through there a couple of times. Yeah, he's getting through with some clean punches he's there. He's got he through there. Turn and he could turn this around. And he's just called oh, him Oh, oh great. Right again. Oh, God. It's a heavy shot. Again, Ridgely tries to get him. Tries to work the body. And then up and... He's going to tie Lucas going, going, absolutely, the Italian. Oh, he's still going. He's, he's took some heavy punches. Yeah, he's got a big heart, you know, and he's, he's still he's coming. there, Robin, you can't do this, but you haven't got a big heart. No, he's not. No, no, just... Mitchell comes back again. I just wonder if he's blown out a little bit now. Oh, good shot from Mitchell. And another. And another. And another. And another. Open up on uh, Midgley's eye there on the eyebrow. Oh. As well, yeah, he took a punch there as well. And he smiles. He's smiling, he took another the punch. The round. Both of them got bad cuts. That's a good fight, this is. I mean, that was the closest round. Uh, you know, uh, I thought Midgley started off strong, but, you know, Luca come back well in that round. I think there was a body at the end where he got three really good punches in. Yeah. I would be surprised if it's not his round. Yeah, if he won that round. It's a close round. Oh, they're having a word with Luka. Jim's having a little word with uh, Fergus Luca. 
both of them got bad cuts. Fergus is round, so there's one point in it going to the last now. But one point going in it. Yeah, 10-8. Whoa, you were right, Berger's got that. Hey, Berger, yeah, I thought he'd done enough to win that round. You know, Midgley blew out a little, that started strong. You know, he puts a lot of effort and a lot of power into every punch. And that's obviously taking, you know, taking its toll on him now. Midgley, I'm not saying he's blown out, but you can see he's breathing every round. It's going to be a mix of a great, a great last round. Well, he's, he's now a point up, isn't he, Midgley? With the knockdown. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, he's so got he's one point in it. But he's got to, he's got to dig deep. He's now. got to win this round. <laughs> oh, good, good body shot. Oh, back, 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 back comes Luca. Yeah, back comes Luca. Burgers, is quick hands from Burgers, Luca. What a good fight. He's Great tired now, Midgley. You know, it, it is tired. On, you know, you never know. You don't know what the judges are looking for. You don't have to look in aggression, the aggression, or they're looking for the. The box, the, well, I wouldn't say that, you know, the, 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 the amount got, of punches Burgers that Luke is coming back, yeah. You know, it's the amount of punches that he's throwing that could nick oh, in this round. Oh, they scored him. Oh, clash of heads there. there. Clash of heads. The referee's just told Burgers Luca to keep his head up. Not quite the spring is there now, no. after three rounds. But Midgley tried, oh, he goes to the body again. again. Trying to land that well, one bit. He turns, he turns, he's everywhere. And, and he gets hit. To be fair, it's Midgley's to lose, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah. they're both know they're out on their feet. They both know they're out on their feet. He says, come on, Midgley. Come on. Come on. They're out on their feet. The referee can stop him if they're not trying, by the way. Oh. oh, Burgers finishing yeah. strongest. Lucas feet, yeah. Oh, back comes Midgley. Magic's oh. caught him. Midgley's caught him in an uppercut. That's a great fight. Midgley is absolutely out on his feet. It's time out for his gum shield. Gum shield. Yeah. He won't mind the breather. He won't mind the breather. He won't mind the breather. He takes his seat on the hook. Can't take a seat. This is, in my eyes, it's up for grabs, you know. It is. Uh, Lucas, you know, back comes Luca. Not heavy punches, but the scoring points. Scoring points. What a good fight. That's a cracker. Keeps getting through with them short punches. <laughs> but the face is his face at the moment. But back and forth, the back of the punch, the Top his old boots is Midgley. The upper cup will keep his old in there, Rick. I think they're both out on the feet. What a great fight. What a great fight. Crowd pleaser, aren't they? They've really put on a show for us tonight. And look at them. They're both absolutely out on their feet. Just knocks them. Great fight, great fight for the crowd. Great fight for this guy. Great fight for this guy. Oh, you you paid money to watch that, you don't know you. No, I would just decide to have this one. I mean, I this could be a draw, you know. It could be. With a point ahead, this could be a draw. There were times in the first round, I wondered if Burgers Luca would be able to carry on. Exactly. I mean, it looked like Mitty was going to blow him away yeah. early doors. You know, he was big, he was he dug strong, deep. and then he dug deep. And he come back well for, you know, Luca come back well. Um, I have to say, Midgley's defence, you mentioned it. Midgley's defence is his is face. His <laughs> 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 you can't, you've got to have a, you, you can't keep taking punishment. No, you can't. I mean, he... he Exactly, and that's a good, you know, that's a good result for both fighters, to be fair. Uh, 
know, guys, in the back room, this next fight, we're interviewing um, after both fighters, I think. I'll check, but we're definitely interviewing Billy Hawthorne as, uh, as per Jim's instructions. since last one. No, it's been my own, you know, my own fault. Only, only I can put fault on that just for being a lazy bugger. But um, I didn't chase. I knew I only had one round, if I'm honest. I thought I'll blast him out in one round. If I can't, I'm in for a right hard night and it won't <laughs> well, I mean, you'd had a great first round and yeah. you have to dig deep to come back. Oh. I, I won't come back. No, he's about the fight. Now, now, eh? I was on about in the fight after the first round. Fight. After our first round, after, after first round, uh, my mentality changed. M more uh, attack, because the first uh, round I was with my ass down, and uh, I think if I must uh, attack more, or the second I go again. Interesting though, Scott. You talk about your own fitness, and you yeah, said yeah. you weren't right. You can't fight at this level without being fit. Yeah, no, I, to be fair, you know. And I, I, said, I was talking to Jim and Joe before. I'm probably going to have the next one off just so I can have a good training camp. You know, you, you, you can't have three or four week training. I didn't even have that to be honest. I won't lie, I didn't even You've have that. You've been working on that uppercut now, that works for you. Because um, the covers up high. I seen him on his last fight, the covers up high. I, I won't lie, you know, the, I didn't even think I was going to go to second round. I think when, every I, when I knocked him down for the first one, I thought I was going to go in and finish him. Everybody in this arena wants to see you at it again. Yeah, oh, I will do it again. I'll do it six times a week. You know, yes. <laughs> us. Now, yes, we can uh, make another mess, but tonight we go drink <laughs> together. Because That's now I have uh, a very good friend. The thing is, an old, legend, an old legend and a very good friend of mine, Dave Radford, his old saying is, win or lose, drink some booze. If we call it a draw, you drink some more. <laughs> so... What we're going to do is, Dave, this is to you, mate. We're going to drink some more tonight. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Try not Thank to get sticky. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank Cheers. Together, yeah? Together, one more. Yeah. Look at these two guys. Just look at these two guys. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. It, that is exactly the way it should be, Robin. But what an admission. I haven't trained six exactly. hours. Like you know, that's always going to be one of me, uh, well, both our critic criticism of him. You know, he, he starts off well, but he didn't have the gas, to, you know, the gas in the tank to carry it on. And he's just told us why that was, because he's actually not put the training in. So he'd be a force to be reckoned with. And he must know that, you know, that if he could perform like that without training, imagine how well he would do. We wonder why he kept turning away. Exactly. And he was breathing also, through his backside. Exactly. You know, also why, you know, his defence, you know, was his face. And, that, you know, it, it, but he... That's because he's tired, he's not got no gas in the tank. You know, he works on his training, he gets fitter, you know, and starts to, to learn to move that head, you know, and become a more compact and rounded fighter. Because he showed some good skills there. He's tough, he's strong, you know, he can punch. I'd like to see it again, would uh, you? Exactly, and, uh, you know, 
I think Midgley, once well, he gets himself fit. November, self, November self the 4th, by the way, yeah, with a sports a connection in Coventry. But January the 13th, the O2. Yeah. That'll be and if that's on there, it'll be a belter. Yeah, it'll be a belter. You know, and admittedly, you know, he admittedly said he wasn't fit. You know, so as long as he gets fit for that what next What an honest fight, admission. Exactly, you know. And if, like I say, I reiterate on it, you know, at the end of the day, if he gets fit, you know, and but, you know, he's putting more strings to his bow. You know, he can punch. You know, he's got a big heart. He's got pride. He's game as, you, as they come, as we can see. You know what I mean? He can take a punch. You know, it's just he lacked that fitness. And Berger's saying at the end, listen, I've made a friend. Exactly, which is nice to see, isn't it? it? Is, you know, isn't it? It's a tough sport. You know, some say it's a brutal sport. You know, at the end of the day, where else do you see that in sport? You know, two you don't guys. See it. You don't see it. Two guys got ultimate respect for each other. You know, they've just knocked seven bells out of each other. You know, in a ring. And you they're know, gonna have a drink. And now they're gonna go. You know, the best of friends. They respect each other now more so than they did when they started. Although they had that respect to start with. Now they're going for a drink to each other, and they're gonna do it all again in January. Can't wait for that one. Absolutely.